The Ward County NDSU Extension Center was bringing farmers back to the classroom for crop and pest management school. Reporter Jordan Rodriguez was there and tells us more about what you can do to try and keep your crops safe this coming year. The past two seasons, farmers realized grasshoppers and canola flea beetles were a big issue that affected their harvest numbers. The NDSU Extension Center is now prepping farmers for what to do this coming year to increase their yields. Grasshoppers and canola flea beetles, let's face it, that's been the two dominant calls of the last two years. Uh, the numbers you saw at the end of the growing season are likely the numbers that are going to overwinter and maybe that initial burst that we see as temperatures warm early in the season. The main concern for many farmers in the western part of our state are the canola flea beetles. Prochaska says regular scouting may help identify possible crop diseases and insects. It's really only been one or two insects, but their numbers have been so high. But the question being, will that stay going into the next year? So that benefit of scouting really plays a big role in farming. This session also covered topics beyond insects. Agronomics say even though you may not use all of your land to plant crops, unused land still needs cover. Kosha, foxtail barley, and some of the things we're talking about here, but Charlie was talking about earlier. And that establishes, they get bigger, they have no competition, they're going to be hard to control and they don't have competition because the crop can't grow there. Prochesca speculates that there will be high insect numbers again next year, especially with a new species emerging. For KX News, I'm Jordan Rodriguez. The Crucifer flea beetle is the dominant flea beetle pest of canola, which is a popular crop across North Dakota.